for years. I've heard from Nicole Krasowski, or more specifically her cats, about the possibility of snow in the forecast. We have five rescue cats now. Started out with four, um, and when all four were on the bed, within 24 to 48 hours, it would snow almost 98% of the time. You see, the number of cats on the bed determines the probability of snow. So if it is three, eh, that's kind of average. Four is something to, to perk your ears up about and start thinking about it. All five, it's usually 24 to 48 hours, we'll have some sort of weather event. It's not just me. The Krasowski cats have quite a social media following as well. Now, they've become a little bit of Facebook celebrities with a lot of my friends and family because whenever um, it's snow is predicted or whenever the cats are on the bed, I will get messages, you know, hey, what's going on? Something changed in the past few years, however, and the weather reports went silent. When we moved into this new house, unfortunately, they seem to have lost their mojo. And everybody's asking, and I'm like, nope, didn't work, didn't work, nope, they, they are off. They just does not make any sense anymore. Until this week. Yesterday, and I walk into the bedroom and all five cats are on the bed. And then I start getting messages today of the snow flurries, and I thought, well, maybe 2020 has done something good and brought their mojo back. The cats aren't the only critters who have meteorological mojo. A new bunny in the house named Ducky has shown some promise with long-term weather prediction. She has, within just a couple of weeks, taken over, you know, the, the princess of the house. And um, so, yeah, so the cats definitely don't know, quite know what to make of her. I decided to ask this newcomer a few questions about the upcoming winter. First, how much can we expect from our first snow of the season? Snow lovers should like her answer, one to four inches, though we didn't ask when this would happen, so there's that. Next, will kids have any snow days this year? Sorry kids, it looks like online learning is going to keep you in virtual classes. Finally, which person on the Fox 8 weather team will be closest on their winter weather prediction? Van gets Ducky's vote. Oh, he's gonna love this. Well, after all that forecasting, Ducky's taking a break. She hasn't figured out how to get on the bed with the cats yet, but I'm sure we'll hear when that happens. Emily Bird, Fox 8 News.